Why Crocodiles Are So Afraid of Jaguars Crocodiles kill about 1,000 humans per year. If you think that these are too many, then you are not the only one. These cold-blooded reptiles first appeared on Earth around 240 million years ago, and since then have evolved to become one of the most feared animals on the face of this Earth. Many wildlife experts believe that crocodiles are nothing short of living fossils, as their body has remained relatively the same over the past few million years. And why would it change when they have already reached perfection? Why change when you're already at the top of the food chain? These perfect killers have remained apex predators for thousands of years, ruling the waters they live in. It's very common to see these beasts of nature devouring their prey and breaking them into small species. Look at this video for example. Somewhere in South America, this caiman has latched onto a jaguar and the poor cat is struggling for its life. There seems to be no way out for this American kitty. Wait a minute, what's happening? The jaguar has grabbed the caiman by its skull and is dragging him out of the water? Did the jaguar have Uno reverse cards? Let's rewind it a bit. It can clearly be seen that a wild caiman a member of the crocodilian family is basking in the afternoon heat while resting on the shore of a river. While the caiman is resting on the shore, there seems to be some movement in the water. Before the caiman notices anything, he is under attack from a male jaguar. Sensing this danger to his life, the caiman doesn't even try to fight. It tries to run away as soon as possible, but the jaguar is too fast and slick and its sharp and jagged saw-like teeth have gotten hold of Cayman's skull with a single bite. Very soon, the Cayman stops moving and the jaguar takes away the helpless croc to someplace suitable enough for him to eat his food peacefully. When this video went viral some years ago, people were shocked and amazed by the strength and ability of jaguars to destroy an apex predator so easily, but wildlife experts were not shocked at all. In this video, you will get to know why jaguar is known as predator of the predators in the Americas. While lions and tigers hog all the limelight when it comes to being the most badass and dangerous cats, jaguar possesses some abilities which help it wreak havoc wherever it goes. A male jaguar can grow up to be 2 meters long in length and usually weigh around 140 kilograms. Jaguars are quite distinct from the other wildcats in many aspects. Pale brown in color, they have small black dots in the middle of their rosettes, Despite being the largest wildcats native to the Americas, they have short and stocky bodies when compared to lions and tigers. Despite being smaller in size, jaguars have the strongest bite among the wildcats. Its deadly jaws are powerful enough to break open the shells of turtles, as well as the skulls of giant caimans. While most other predators like lions, tigers, and even crocodiles like to grab onto their prey by their sweet soft necks to suffocate them, Jaguars go less complicated route, or the brutal way. The raw strength of its bite, which is 1,500 pounds per square inch, allows jaguars to simply latch upon the skull of their prey and paralyze the helpless animal almost instantly. All it needs is a single bite to kill its prey. The forest-dwelling tribes of South America named this cat Jaguar, which means he who kills with one leap in the native language. Now, those of you who might be thinking that's all okay and cool, but surely the caiman can use water to escape. Caiman are one of the most agile and fast species of all the crocodiles. Surely they can do something to escape, right? The answer to this question is that caimans can only escape the jaws of death when they know where it's coming from. Jaguars are stealth predators, and rather than running after their prey, they like to ambush their potential victims. By the time the caiman gets a whiff of jaguar's attack, it's almost too late to do anything. Sometimes the jaguar is sitting atop a tree near the river waiting for caiman to surface on water, while on other times, jaguars may even decide to take a swim in order to hunt the crocodile. You heard it right, jaguars are not only excellent hunters on the land, but they are also expert swimmers, meaning they can beat caimans even at their own game in their own home turf. Unlike domestic cats, which just seem to hate water for some reason, jaguars are water babies and love to cause a splash. Jaguars are blazingly fast while swimming. Admittingly, while jaguars are not as fast as Michael Phelps, the Olympic champion swimmer, they are capable of doing something which Michael Phelps can never dream of, 
they can eat while still being underwater. Absurd as it may seem, that's completely true. There's even an amazing video online in which photographer Herbert Vanderbeek captured a jaguar devouring a fish underwater at a zoo in France. The reason for this evolution in love of water? The most dense population of jaguar is found in the Pantanal region of South America, which happens to be the largest wetland in the world. And in order to thrive in an area like this, jaguar have evolved to become a champion swimmer. Being a water baby is fine, but what makes the hunt possible? Aren't caimans supposed to be the apex predators of rivers themselves? Yes, caimans were apex predators up until jaguars showed themselves in the Americas. With their amazing abilities and adaptability to their environment, jaguars were able to dominate everyone around them. Their evolution is on just another level altogether. While most wildcats cannot even remain underwater continuously for a few seconds, it's reported that jaguars have amazing lung capacity, which allows them to remain underwater for more than 20 minutes straight. For context, dolphins can only stay submerged for 10 minutes without coming up to take a breath. The love story of jaguars with water doesn't end here. There have even been sightings of jaguars swimming in the Panama Canal. We can only wonder what they must be shipping from one continent to another. All these abilities make it seem like jaguars should be considered as a subspecies of shark and not a wildcat. Jokes apart, being a superior swimmer allows jaguar to defeat caiman even in an underwater battle. But all is not so simple. There have been cases where some jaguars have been grievously injured while hunting large caiman. So the next question arises. Why hunt the bad boy came in at all? Why risk your life for a single meal? Well, the answer is that jaguars are not picky eaters. They are opportunistic feeders, and when they see something walking on four legs with enough meat on it, they like to have a go at it. The usual diet of a jaguar consists of capybara, deer, armadillo, and fish. But this does not mean that caimans are a one-off thing for jaguars either. Caimans are on the menu and so are tapirs, an animal three times as big as the jaguar itself. While humans have replaced jaguar at the top of the food chain, jaguar still remains extremely dangerous to us. There have been many reported incidents of aggression when humans have trespassed the already shrunken habitats of jaguar. Almost 20 humans die every year due to jaguar attacks. Human deaths are always a cause of concern, but this time it's humans who are to blame. Relentless destruction of forests and the killing of animals have caused the habitat of jaguar to shrink by more than half in the past century alone. As more and more of its habitat is being destroyed and its prey base being diminished due to poaching, this wildcat is increasingly coming into contact with us. If things remain the same and nothing is done to prevent the loss of forests, humans will also surely enter the long list of prey that jaguars like to feast on.